Well, this is a bittersweet week for our ABC7 family as we say thank you and bid farewell to my friend and co-anchor Alan Krzyzewski. Tonight, our Judy Sue taking a look back at Alan's incredible 40-year career as he prepares to sign off tomorrow for one last time. Just 21 years old, Allen started at WLS in 1982. And Chicago police say that there still are many areas that still remain to be covered. And don't think you have to be a millionaire or some kind of computer programming expert to own and use one of these things. Don't you love the future? Alan Krzyzewski, Channel 7 News. Then Alan anchored the news cut-ins during Good Morning America. We welcome you to our very first edition of Eyewitness News this morning. And launched Chicago's first morning newscast. We appreciate that you turn to us each day and we hope that you'll continue to do so for many years to come. Alan went on to anchor every afternoon and evening newscast at ABC7. And in 2016, he began his current role anchoring the 5 p.m., 6 p.m., and 10 p.m. newscasts. It's really hard to kind of grasp the size of this thing until you get right alongside of it. This is actually a truck that you could practically walk underneath. His time in Chicago filled with countless news moments. They are in the money all day long. Reporting from all over Chicagoland. If there's a top tier job in our town, then this one has to be it. Atop the tallest building in the hemisphere, the rooftop of the Sears Tower. From four Democratic national conventions, both sides of the U.S.-Mexico border, and from Puerto Rico in the devastating aftermath of Hurricane Maria. We didn't deserve this. This is like uh, the devil took over. Hi, Alan. Good to see you. Welcome to Rome. Alan has also led the station's coverage of the Roman Catholic Church, reporting on three Chicago Cardinal Archbishops and three popes from all over the world. Hello, I'm Alan Krzyzewski, here in the city of Jerusalem. He has traveled to Rome extensively, covering the church's handling of the U.S. sexual abuse crisis, the death of Pope John Paul II, and the resignation of Pope Benedict XVI. Hard to describe the excitement in this crowd. The bells are ringing. They have seen the smoke. He was even in St. Peter's Square when the white smoke went up and thousands rushed to get their first glimpse of Pope Francis. I want the world to remember and to know and never, ever, ever forget. Allen says this was the capstone of his career. Now, a Roman Catholic cardinal and a Jewish Holocaust survivor walk through that gate together, making a point of the bitter lie in the words above. When the late Fritzi Fritschel shared her personal story of surviving the Holocaust and her passion to fight against hatred with Allen and Cardinal Blaise Supich. I can tell you that whenever I see a candle burning, I'll always remember this day. Thank you. That's a nice thing to say. Looking back over 40 years at ABC7, every newscast he has anchored has consistently been rated number one in Chicago. Through it all, Alan's leadership, integrity, and kindness have fueled his incredible career. Judy Sue, ABC7 Eyewitness News. All right, you okay? So there. <laughs> <laughs> you hang in there because we got a lot much oh, more. Boy. We're going to reflect yeah. all day tomorrow, Alan. We've got about 24 hours left with you here. It's at not going to take 24 Seven. hours to go through the stories. <laughs> I went to know. We're going to take all the time we need in one. We're going to take a look back at Alan's career and legacy throughout the day, starting with our morning newscast, the one that he started 40 years ago, almost continuing all the way through your final newscast tomorrow night right here at 10 o'clock. How you doing? I'm doing great. It's been quite a ride. Okay. Still getting accustomed to this, but uh, you know, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Remarkable, thank extraordinary you. accomplishment. 40 oh, years. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC 7 Chicago YouTube channel.